we're we're here today at the Confluence Fly Shop with a uh, longtime local steelheading legend, uh, Jerry Wells. Uh, he's graciously joined us today to tie show us how to tie a pink shrimp, which is a pattern that uh, he came up with 30 plus years ago and has been very effective for a lot of different species, uh, particularly steelhead. Okay, here's the start of the pink shrimp. We're going to put the thread on the hook, apply it like normal fly, bring the thread down, back to them, the bend of the hook, leaving a tag out about 12 inches long because you're going to need that tag to tie the shell back down on the nymph, on the shrimp. Okay, now we're going to put in a hackle which we're going to palm her up to the front, select the right size plant. Hackle. What was what was your inspiration for coming up with the pink shrimp, Jerry? Well, one day I was fishing the Skagit River in the spring. April, I believe, and uh, I was fishing the riffle and I fished it quite a while. And two guys come down the boat, hot shot, and, and corked me off and caught a nice steelhead. And they had these big, bright hot shots on. So I come up with the idea that I had to have something a lot bigger to compete with these guys on the river if I was going to catch some fish there. So I came up with the idea of a pink shrimp. And actually, I don't know where we got the name of the pink shrimp because it probably really doesn't look like a shrimp that much. But we wanted it something to get the fish's attention. So this is what we came I came up with. Which in, in those days was actually a quite large fly compared to what most of us used. I think by, by today's standards it's uh, today's it's standards small. is small. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. But it's effective. Now we're going to bring the body forward. And it's just like a medium shell pink chenille. Yep. I think this is actually a large in it. Kind of in between. Some of these flags I tie them weighted, but not. Uh, guys nowadays don't tie many weighted flies like this, so we don't need to weight this one. So we got the body wrapped off. And do you tie this in other colors besides pink? Yeah, I tie them sometimes with a, a hotter pink body. Uh, some of them with those new chenilles we got now with all the sparkle in them. Mm -hmm. Seems to be pretty effective when you're fishing for salmon, like dogs or chums, and for humpies. And I sometimes, whoops, ooh, almost lost her. Nice save there. And uh, uh, I tie him in purple, body purple hackle with a blue on the back, which is quite effective. Really good for bull trout, and uh, I heard that it was good for. I caught lot, actually caught silvers on it down here too, and the guy said he used it in Alaska and caught quite a few silvers on it up there. Take your craft fur, you kind of have to fiddle with it a little bit. Yeah, you got to comb, comb out that under, under fur. Get that under fur out of it and straighten it up, try to even it up as possible. Get the right amount. After you tied a few of these, the right amount comes pretty easy. Just red, red craft fur there. Yeah. Actually, the reds nowadays are a little bit, a little bit deeper red than the old ones I had. The old red was a little bit lighter, which I don't think makes any difference whatsoever. And how do you gauge your tail length? Do you want that about as long as the? Oh, I like it about body? about the same as the body. I'm never one to put long tails on, on some flies. 
get a, get a lot of short strikes that way. Well, on types wise, all the woolly bugger and stuff, they have a tendency to want to wrap under the hook. Mm -hmm. And if you get big, long ones, shorter ones, I find, don't always wrap under the hook and stay there. That stiffer hackle probably helps to prevent it from fouling as well. Yeah, I think so. I think a, I think a hackle that is uh, on flies when it's palmered helps keep the tails from flopping their knees. Anyway, I always believe that. But then sometimes I believe a lot of things. Now, I'll put the shell back down. This is where you got to whip finish this thing by hand. You gotta be careful because it's pretty easy to get extra feathers in there. Sometimes you gotta take your bobbin and try to pick it out. Pick some of those barbells out. Yeah, I'll try to get my hand in there. I can. Yeah. Handy little tool. effective fly for salmon and steelhead throughout the Northwest. Yeah, although I think there's a lot of flies out there that will catch fish. They don't have to be either. But that was one of my favorites. First bright fly that we ever really came up really bright that we used in the summer time in the Stillaguamish River. Mm -hmm. The very first one. And uh, we did one time have a guy in the store come in from Canada. <laughs> He wanted all the materials to tie this fly. And he says, yeah, some guy up there, he says, in Abbotsford invented, invented this fly, he says. And I says, well, where did he get it at? Well, he said he tied it. And I says, well, I happened to tie that fly right there. <laughs> I says, you did? Yeah. I says, I says, and I know exactly what materials are in that fly. I says, I says, I've been tying it for years. <laughs> so he was trying to claim fame there. He got it out of a tree, I found out. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. We kept that a secret for a long time. We thought it was a good deal with me and uh, one of my fishing partners. Mm -hmm. And uh, we everybody would fish in the stilly and we'd, in the summertime, and we'd be catching fish on this thing, and then we'd never tell them what we was fishing with, you know. Then finally some guy caught, got one out of a tree one day when we were fishing. And the secret was uh, out. And that was it. And they're, they're pretty sure everybody was using it. Well, th well thank you for sharing it with us today. Okay. How, uh, how do you like to fish the fly? Is, is well, I usually just fish it with a sink and line. Sink tip line. Sink, sink yeah. tip mm -hmm. on the yeah. swing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, usually a regular steelhead tip, you know, mm -hmm. whatever you like there. Very nice. Well, thank you for, yep. sh for sharing, and uh, we're, we're excited to try some out this season. Okay.